Paul, Michael, you both played for Man United and Liverpool. When you've been in a situation like this, in such a tense game, such a huge rivalry between the two teams, how are you feeling at half-time if you, you're down by a goal to nil or two goals to nil like this? Uh, I don't know, but... You're the wrong person, on, Josh, but <laughs> <laughs> I had a decent record in my... Uh, you did, to be fair. We, you did. Well, in, in my early days, United mm. were, got the bat and then yes. went through a good patch of, uh, of it. But, listen, football happens like that. You know, sometimes you, you're, uh, you're down at half-time and you're just thinking of, right, the next goal. Of course, if you is go 3-0 down... Is it that bit more tense, though, at half-time, when it is such a big rivalry compared oh, to the others? The whole week mm. is tense, yeah. though, you know, leading up to the match, so... I think it's less tense of anything at half time because now you're into <clears> it. You, you know the nerves are gone, and you just want them to get out there and, and do it. But it's uh, it's a tense week when the. When what the about what I'm sorry, Jules? What about that game you were three 0 up in? You know you, you were in the Manchester United midfield there, Anfield three 0 up. What game was that? The one <laughs> finished three, three, three. You, you know you're three 0 yeah. up. You, mm. Instead of running round like a lunatic, hold your position, stay stay tight, stay <laughs> narrow. You, you end up drawing three. Running three. round like a lunatic. No, no, yeah. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> put, put a kettle comes to mind, doesn't it? You're three 0 up Anfield. You're the to be fair, I mean, what, when, you, you when, you, when you think three. of games, that was a f fantastic game. I think, you know, we were absolutely cruising. You know, Dennis Herman scored a world, he Giggs scored a great chip, and then Cluffy scored one just before half time, I think. Mm. And, um, you know, I remember going in at half time thinking we, we created so many chances that, that first half. So we could have been six or seven up, um, and they pulled that one back. And it's amazing what a goal does, isn't it? You know, mm. just for the opposition. Because uh, mm -hmm. you know what it means, not just that the players. I think when we played in these derby games, there was a lot of Manchester lads who come from Manchester, there was a lot of Liverpool lads who come from Liverpool, so it meant so much to them. Yeah. You know, and um, to lose, to draw 3-3 three, three was... Oh, it just kills you, doesn't it? You know, yeah. cause you, even though it's not a so-called derby, it is, it's the biggest game. You know, when I, when I look forward to the fixtures, I always look forward to making up Liverpool. You know, that's the biggest game for me. Um, so to draw 3-3... Three, three, uh, was a bit disappointing, and, um, but I had some good times. You know, I've scored against Liverpool and I've scored against Mate United. And you've actually commented quite recently about how annoyed you get when players don't celebrate oh. against their former club. Yeah. Mm. We know you did. Oh, I went absolutely bananas. <laughs> you know, listen, I had six great years at Mate United. You know, won some great trophies, had some great experiences, but. You know, when you go to Liverpool, you play Liverpool. I hate that as well. It's almost like the players yeah. crawl into the old fans saying, please like yeah. me in the future. Yeah. It's like, just, if you don't want to score, you're not going to say, well, don't, if you don't want to, just don't score in the first place. But don't score and then say, sort of, sorry. Uh -huh. Don't do it in the first place. Does any, does any game stand out for you, Michael? Man United against Liverpool or vice versa? Yeah, Spurs? loads of games. I think um, playing in the, in the, I think it was the Worthington Cup final at the time for, for Liverpool against Manchester United, winning that one was great. Um, I always remember as well the feeling of... of being 1 0 up at Old Trafford, and I think it was the FA Cup, and then two goals, and the, literally the last couple of seconds uh, knocked Liverpool out, knocked us out at the time. So it was, um, but loads of good games. I mean, it was back in that in the day, it was, I mean, even obviously now that the, the two top teams that were going for big, big trophies at the time. Yeah, and Robbie, Birmingham Villa, huge, oh, huge massive. derbies that you've been involved in. Oh, look, there you are. Any one of those stand out in particular? Um, yeah, you know when I got headbutted, um, that was a that was um, <laughs> that was quite a, a good one because we won the game. Um, Peter Enkelman, do you remember when the ball went under his Don't foot? Yeah, yeah, I do. Um, that was the first game back in the Premier League on a Monday night, three 0 up. Jeff Jeff Horsfield scored. Such intense rivalry that one. It was fantastic. As is Nottingham Forest against Derby yes, tomorrow. That's going to be a yeah. massive game. South massive Rangers. game. Yeah. Was there South any more afters in the tunnel in the dressing room after that game? Um, no. He wouldn't have seen it. He would have uh, ran no. in and hid. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's, a, there's, a, there's a picture of me on Instagram. I was boxing yesterday. These two fancy their chances. They wouldn't have a chance. I know you don't have we, a picture, We've all seen your topless picture on Instagram, sensational. Robbie. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's poor. I don't, I'm not saying why he's doing but, it, Jules. It's poor. Uh, way to you two, things. you two challenge me. You, now, you challenge me. Uh, uh, I would knock, knock but, him out in one uh, round. I'm you telling, telling you that now. About, look at you. <laughs> All right. Was there any one player, Paul, that you were up against in in one of these rivalry games mm. that you thought, oh, don't fancy playing against them today? It's probably it's probably Keeney, you know, because it's funny because I've spent four years, five years playing alongside him, you know, as, as a partnership, and you know, you know what you're going to get from him. So all of a sudden, I'm at Liverpool, and I'm thinking. Keeney, here we mm. go, in your face, moaning, shouting, all the things that we did to intimidate pe pe people. And um, you, knew, you, you knew what was going to get with him. You know, he was tough as nails, he could play. It was, for me, he was the ultimate footballer. So to come up against him, you know, was, was always a challenge for me, you know. And um, no, I'd like to say I won a few battles, but I'm sure he did too. But a uh, great, great player. Michael, you already said that, you know, you spend the whole week, the whole week is tense leading up to these games. Was there any player that stood out for you that you thought you didn't fancy playing against at the weekend? Well, Manchester United were, were the, the best team, really, as I was uh, 
as I was starting off my career, winning the league all the time. So, of course, they had world-class players everywhere. Um, Rio Ferdinand was top-class. Yap Stam was really hard to, to play against, obviously quick and, and mobile. Um, Pallister, Bruce, they were all mm. wonderful players, so it was very hard to, to say one. Any for you, Robbie? Um, I would say Inzi, but I dominated him time after time, you know, whether it was Leicester <laughs> against Liverpool, Wolves, <laughs> Birmingham, <laughs> you know, he tried to get into me a few times, but he was, he was an old man, but it towards the end, and I had too much for him, so <laughs> well, <laughs> I pictured him trying to get with the bigger not in, in a Wolves, Birmingham game, but I had too much for him. When you, when you go back to, to former clubs and you're playing against them <laughs> as an opponent, mm. how does it feel as a person when you hear those boos in the crowd from the fans that once were cheering you on? It doesn't, it doesn't affect me at all. I think if, you, if you're mentally weak, then it might do. You know, and I also know when I go back to Manchester United, you know, they, because I went to Liverpool, they, they're going to have a pop at me. But what I, what I, I didn't go from... I could never have gone to Mate United straight to Liverpool. There was a little gap I went to Inter between. I, I could have never done that, you know Where what I mean? Where did you go between? Inter Milan. Oh. I didn't mention this Didn't Milan. know that. Didn't Inter Milan derby, did we? But no concerns. So you know you're going to get stick. You know what's going to happen. And, and you've just got to get on with the game, haven't you? Where did you no. go in between? Was it? Real Madrid. Real Madrid, Madrid yeah. yeah. Newcastle. Madrid, yeah. What did you go in between? Um, I think it was Crew. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what have you laughed for? What have you laughed for? I'm just saying, George is laughing. What have you laughed for? I'm, not, I'm just saying, George is laughing. Brighton. 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 Yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. How did you do down in Brighton? Bet not very well. <laughs> <laughs> um, OK, we're nearly kicking off for the second half, so just going to finish off with a poll. So we put this out on BT Sports Score's Twitter page. You can still vote on this now. We want to know, if you were a player, who would you rather play for, Jose Mourinho or Jurgen Klopp. The debate continues, but currently 70% of you say Jurgen Klopp and the rest of you 30% say Mourinho. So we're going to be carrying that on throughout the show today as well as covering all of today's live games at 3 o'clock up and down the country. So us guys plus the rest of the team, we'll see you at 2.30.